What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. And this is a screen that we're looking at right now is something that used to be a huge annoyance for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad users because we couldn't watch Hulu on our mobile devices. The iDevices, as you like to call them, were not flash enabled. They couldn't support the flash content and the flash video that Hulu had. So we were left watching our TV shows on our computer and in limited quantities from what Hulu would provide us. It was really one of the big things that was a significant knock on uh, the iDevices. So that is now a thing of the past. Enter Hulu Plus, which is what I want to show you today and give you guys a bit of a demo as to what this is. It's a free download right now from the App Store and it's going to let you watch full seasons of Hulu shows, so shows that you can only watch a few episodes on in the past, for a $9.99 a month subscription rate. Now it's not open to the public right now, but you can take a tour of it and you can see what stuff you will be able to watch. Uh, and you can still get access to sort of the basic Hulu content. So there's the icon, Hulu Plus. It's going to go ahead and launch. You can view it in landscape or portrait. So you can request an invite to sort of get in there, or you can just tour the application. So right now we'll just tour it, and it looks almost identical to what Hulu.com would look like on your computer. So a few things to note here about the Hulu Plus, and I'll get into this in just a minute. Uh, first, there is an app, like I mentioned, for the iPod. Uh, iPad or uh, iPhone, and you can stream that stuff over Wi-Fi or 3G, depending on your device. And by iPod, of course, I mean iPod Touch. Uh, there's going to be support for in-connected TVs and Blu-ray players from Samsung uh, via the Samsung app. So if you've got one of those, you are going to be set. And also, there's going to be support for other devices, too. Uh, in the coming weeks, we'll see support for Vizio and Sony TVs, um, which will be coming up probably around the fall. Uh, support for the PS3 in July. Uh, the Xbox is going to get it as well as part of a custom Xbox Gold uh, experience in an early 2011. And again, this is going to cost you $9.99 a month, and you'll be able to watch full seasons of shows. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So here's some stuff that really there's only available a few episodes of. Let's take a look at what's there. Let's say I wanted to watch Lost and get caught up on what happened that final season. Go ahead and hit Lost. And now I have all these episodes here uh, constituting the final season. So you can watch now, instead of just the last three or four episodes, you can watch a ton of other content. And a lot of it is there and going to be available for you, albeit at a $9.99 uh, subscription rate. However, if you're a Netflix user or you have some other uh, video on demand service that you use, uh, this is really a great option if you rent one movie from Apple TV per month or one movie from on demand or you have a Netflix subscription. I know you're probably paying more than this. And for $9.99 a month, it's an all you can eat thing. Uh, and you'll be able to stream this over 3G or Wi Fi. Well, you're definitely going to want to watch your data usage if you're doing this over 3G. I just wanted to give you guys a real quick demonstration and see what you thought. This has been rumored for a long, long, long time, and Hulu Plus is finally here. Uh, and I, for one, am very excited about it. So, anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.